Before you can lead an army into battle, you must first learn the nine principles of the art of war, written by the famous warrior and philosopher Sun Tzu. His teachings come to us from ancient books, and his infinite wisdom about warfare and military tactics still apply to this day. I will guide you and teach you these most important lessons, Commander. Listen very well. Sun Tzu teaches us not only how to engage our enemies, but also how to manage logistics. An army cannot fight without the proper supplies. Without food, arrows, and arms, an army cannot stand its ground. In the words of Sun Tzu, Bring war material with you from home, but forage in enemy territory. Then the army will have enough food to survive. Let us see if you understand this advice. As your army grows, so do your responsibilities. Not only must you look after your soldiers, but also after their families. It is of great importance that your people are fed, that your population grows, and that your towns increase in size. Sun Tzu says, the command of a large force is the same principle as the command of a few men. It is merely a question of dividing up their numbers. An army is only as strong as the economy that supports it. A large army requires a large population and a surplus of food, gold, and other resources. Show me that you understand this important lesson. Sometimes you will face an enemy stronger than yourself. Be like a wrestler who is smaller than his opponent. He does not meet his opponent's strength with his own, but instead looks for his enemy's weakness. So too must you learn to strike your enemy where he is vulnerable and cut his supply lines before you can meet strength with strength. Here is the virtue in raiding. On this subject, Sun Tzu advises, the impact of your army should be like a grindstone dashed against an egg. This is achieved through the knowledge of weak and strong points. Be relentless, because the enemy will be relentless as well. Now, show me what you have learned. A good commander must learn to be decisive in war. Hesitation or mistakes can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Just as a soldier practices his spear thrusts, so too must a commander learn to be efficient and repeat tasks until he knows them by heart. Sun Tzu says, a clever fighter wins his battles by making no mistakes. Making no mistakes is what establishes the certainty of victory, for it means conquering an enemy that is already defeated. Few generals make it this far. Let us see if you are one of them. You are not the only one who will be raiding. Your opponent will not hesitate to attack you when and where you are weakest. Therefore, you must use your skills to defend your people and train your peasants to defend themselves. Hence, that general is skillful in attack whose opponent does not know what to defend. And he is skillful in defense whose opponent does not know what to attack. Sun Tzu wrote, Show strength where you are weak. Wherever the enemy attacks, show him that you are ready to repel his soldiers. Be ready and prepared, Commander, because now it is up to you. Excellent! You have mastered every lesson that I had to teach. Remember the words of Sun Tzu and his teachings about the art of war and you will win many battles. Or in the words of the wise philosopher warrior, if you know the enemy and you know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles.